Manchester United could sign former Atletico Madrid star for free right back is an area where Manchester United do not have a lot of depth at the moment. Diogo Dalot's fortunes have turned since the departure of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and he has now firmly established himself as a starter for the Red Devils. But when it comes to Aaron Juan Bissaka, he does not seem to be in Eric Ten Hag's plans at all. As a result, Manchester United could with another right back, who could provide some consistent cover to Dalot, rather than having to go for Juan Bissaka out of the blue, in case of suspension or injury. And it looks like there could be a free agent on Manchester United's radar, in order to fill the void and cover for Dalot. That player is Santiago Arias, whose contract was terminated by Atletico Madrid last month. Thus, the veteran Colombian international is available as a free agent, and as tweeted out by Johnson Sense, Arias has his bags ready to move to Manchester United. Former Atletico Madrid star could be on his way to Manchester United on free transfer, there were rumors in the summer that Manchester United were looking to find Juan Bissaka a new home, and if he left Old Trafford, then they would make a move for another right back. As things turn out, that did not end up happening. As a result, moving for a free agent like Arias right now does make a lot of sense for Manchester United. Arias has plenty of experience at both club and international level. He has represented teams like Atletico Madrid, PSV Eindhoven, Sporting CP, Bayer Leverkusen and more, through the course of his career alongside the Colombia national team. Yes, he is 30 years of age, but could still potentially do a good job as the backup to Dallas at the Theatre of Dreams. PSV Eindhoven chief confirms Man United interest in 23-year-old attacker PSV Eindhoven, director John De Jong has revealed that he expected Man United to push through with a formal move for Cody Gakpo during the final days of the summer transfer window. Having established himself as one of the top young prospects in the Eredivisie, Gakpo has been tipped to eventually make the move to a top European team. Although PSV were not interested in negotiating a sale, while they participates in the Champions League qualifying rounds, a transfer felt likely to take place during the final week of summer transfer window. However, despite interest from the likes of Southampton, Leeds, and Man United a deal failed to materialize, leaving the attacker at PSV until at least January. The 23-year-old star acknowledged at the end of last week that he would have been interested in securing a transfer to Old Trafford, particularly as it seemed likely at one stage. Speaking to PSV TV, Gakpo said, Manchester United had reported at the beginning of the transfer window. We were waiting for the bid. The signals became more and more positive, and at a certain point I thought it might fall in that direction. That option faded a bit and completely last week. We worked the whole window towards it. Until last week I thought I would go to Manchester United. The Netherlands International's reports have now been backed up by De Jong, who suggests that the Dutch team were open to negotiating a deal. De Jong told Vocal International. Manchester United signed up at the beginning of the transfer period. They expressed their interest. But after that, it took a long time. In the end, as management, we had talks with United between the games against Rangers. Then it seemed to get more concrete, but that faded, and at the end of the window the option to sell him to United was no longer there. United instead opted to pay £85 million to secure services of Ajax winger Anthony, who has scored on his debut against Arsenal. Man United turned down chance to sign Argentine midfielder from PSG Manchester United reportedly rejected the chance to secure services of Leandro Paredes from League One Giants, Paris Saint-Germain, during the latter stages of the summer transfer window. Having failed to convince Frankie de Jong to make the switch to Old Trafford from Barcelona, the 20 times English champion switched their attention to Juventus's Adrian Rabiot. A deal for the France international broke down over personal terms, though, and the Red Devils eventually moved to secure services of Casemiro from Real Madrid. According to Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano, Paredes was offered to the Red Devils, however, the club were not interested in securing the services of the Argentina international. The 28-year-old midfielder ultimately joined Serie A Giants Juventus on loan before the end of the window, with the old lady having the chance to make it a permanent basis next summer. Man United had a possibility. It was Leandro Paredes from Paris Saint-Germain. He was one of the players offered to Manchester United Romano said on his official YouTube channel. They wanted to wait a bit on the market after missing out on Adrian Radio. They wanted to wait for Casemiro. And at the end, they signed Casemiro and they are super happy. But Paredes was one of the secret options offered to Man United. They decided not to proceed Leandro Paredes, who always wanted Juventus this summer. He had an agreement on personal terms with Juventus. 
At the end of the market, he joined Jew for a new Italian opportunity. Man United held negotiations with 60 million euros rated La Liga midfielder Man United will continue to attempt to secure the services of Frankie de Jong during the winter transfer window. Man United are confident about landing the Barcelona star in January amid interest from Chelsea. The Netherlands international is the protagonist of one of the most frustrating transfer sagas of the 2022 transfer window. De Jong is surplus to requirements at Camp Nou for non-sporting reasons, with Chelsea and Man United desperately trying to bring him to England. But Frankie does not want to leave the Catalan club this summer, thus leaving Chelsea and Man United exasperated in the last couple of months. The 25-year-old midfielder is particularly uninterested in joining the Red Devils, while the Blograna have reportedly issued an ultimatum to him regarding his future. The report suggests that Man United are confident about securing the services of the Dutch midfielder. And judging by their displays in their first two games this campaign, the Red Devils will be desperately conjuring a way to add the Dutchman, who can transform their midfield unit. It will be interesting to see if Man United's confidence in the pursuit of the former Ajax midfielder yields the desired result. Chelsea can offer UCL football, so Man United might still be behind their PL rivals in the battle to add the midfielder from Barcelona. Recent reports have claimed that Frankie de Jong is closing in on joining Chelsea, but he will still prefer to stay at Barcelona beyond the winter transfer window. Man United keeping tabs with 25 million euro rated Spain international. Man United are in negotiations to add Alvaro Morata from Atletico as they continue their hunt for a new center forward. Man United are now desperately looking to add a striker during the winter transfer window. The Dutch manager had made signing a center forward in the winter transfer window a top priority following the departure of Cavani. Marshall was reportedly on his way out of Man United too, but the Frenchman returned to form in the pre-season, forcing Eric Ten Hag to include him in his plans for the 2022-23 campaign. However, Marshall suffered a hamstring injury just before the start of the campaign, forcing Eric Ten Hag to play Eriksen up front, with Ronaldo on the bench. Cristiano has been wanting to depart from Man United all summer in search of UCL football, but has not been able to find a club that would take him readily. Man United view Morata as a genuine possibility and are currently in talks with his entourage over a winter move. While the centre forward is not prolific for C, he does a lot of work with his back to the goal, allowing the white footballers to come into the game. It stays to be seen whether a move for Alvaro materialises in January. Man United might have no option but to pursue a move for Spain International in the winter, and they might well be open to shelling out 35 million euros for him. Manchester United considering January move for Premier League striker Manchester United will consider a January move for Brentford centre forward Ivan Toney. Manchester United fixed a lot of areas in the summer transfer window and paid handsomely to do so, spending over £200 million to bring six new players into the club. However, the board still didn't cover all bases and Eric Ten Hag's squad are in need of a couple of more additions in the future in order for the side to finally be ready to start buying for the Premier League title once more. One of the positions that Man United failed to strengthen in the summer transfer window was the striker department. With an aging Cristiano Ronaldo and an injured Anthony Marshall, Ten Hag has been forced to utilize Marcus Rashford up front. Rashford, to his credit, has performed admirably, but there are still massive question marks about whether the England international is capable of leading the line against a deep block. There is always the possibility that Ronaldo reinvigorates himself to retake the number 9 position, but his display against Real Sociedad on Thursday night left a lot to be desired. According to a new report from journalist Dean Jones, Man United may be looking ahead to January already in order to add quality and depth to the front line by bringing Ivan Tony to the club from Brentford. The journalist had this to say, via the people's person. Manchester United will have their eye on Brentford striker Ivan Tony in January if he keeps up his form. The reporter has suggested that Chelsea, under the new leadership of Graham Potter, will also be looking to sign Tony from Brentford in January should the English striker continue his excellent form and so United face a tough competitor. Thank you for watching. Please support us on subscribe, like, and comment below. See you on the next video.